There is a spiritual phenomenon that is just not good, and yet so common and so avoidable, and just waylays people who could do the Bible and could be disciples of Jesus, but it's a fatal flaw. And it's one of being doubly stupid. You know, not everyone is Einstein. You know, who's Einstein other than Einstein? Not everybody is an engineer or a mathematical whiz or Edison, you know, Watson. These are not common people. And so in intelligence areas, there's a lot of humility to be had. If you just look around at brilliant people, you know, geniuses. And the fact is that the Bible says that geniuses, you know, intelligence of the intelligent will be frustrated by God. So that's no day at the beach. It's not like you want to sign up for that. I mean, who needs to go mano y mano with God just because they're intelligent? Doesn't sound like a good gig. And so, not being Einstein is kind of a good gig. Humility is readily available. Just look at Einstein. And it would seem like it would work. And it doesn't. Most people go for doubly stupid. That is, not real smart to start with, and then not humble thereafter. Uh, amazing but a typical prescription of people who profess one day to follow Jesus. And it kind of goes like this. Say uh, someone comes along, average person, no Einstein, and they have some struggles because we're bound to struggle. We are destined for them and they are great. Some instruction and agreement is reached and some admonition and advice to work it out over time and stay faithful and honest and open and all is well. You have a course that is a winning course, a trajectory that saves. But that person can't uh, do it, won't do it, forgets about it, drops the ball, gets mad, gets offended, gets moved around all the time, and the humility available in that failure doesn't humble, doesn't deliver. You can tell because it doesn't bring the grace of God, and true humility does. And so then you have this average person of you know, average or lesser intelligence, being offended and bothered and not humbled, which insists, of course, since humility would bring wisdom, that they didn't have wisdom to begin with, then they insist on not getting more wisdom by not being humble, and the insistence and the result is doubly stupid and out of the kingdom of God for no reason other than that they insisted it be that way. Don't be doubly stupid. You can make it in life and in the kingdom of God if you're stupid to begin with. That's no problem, and in many ways, that can be an advantage. But taking the second stupid is like signing up for the second death. It is not the way to go, and yet it is the way most people go. Such a tragedy. Unnecessary, of course.